we've spent the past 12 months renovating Ladybird and want to share our van with everybody along with our budget and financial tips. Come on in. <laughs> okay, so when you first come in the van, we have our mosquito net to keep the bugs out because we usually have this door open when we're parked. So behind the passenger seat, we have a little storage container with stuff that we frequently use like headlamp, um, when we're going to the bathroom at night, um, dish soap, hand soap, Febreze for when we get stinky. We have our shoes on this mat. We usually keep our sandals and our tennis shoes here. Above here, we have our kits that we use every morning and every night, our water purifier, um, these are my not dirty but not clean clothes and these are a couple more of my clothes because I have too many for my closet. So at night when we want some privacy we put our windshield cover on and then we also hook our blackout curtain here to have a little extra privacy. So this is our sink. It's pretty dirty right now. Um, Wes did all the plumbing and we washed dishes in here the sink we have our gray water container a fire extinguisher and our shoe storage so to empty the gray water which is basically uh, you don't go number one or two just running from the sink we open this door this is the first practical time in my life I've used the Pythagorean theorem so <laughs> a squared plus B squared equals C squared and that's how I knew how long to make this rope and so to empty the gray water, we just unscrew the lid, pull out the bucket, and then usually we'll empty it into like a vault toilet. Uh, we try to be as environmentally responsible as possible. So our water tank holds 30 gallons of water. Uh, I didn't run hot water through here, so if you do this or this, they are both the same temperature. So for the kitchen, we have this big drawer that keeps our pots. We have a Dutch oven, a cast iron skillet, a frying pan with sides, and then like a rice pot. All of our silverware. And we have these latches so that when we're driving, things don't fall out. We have a huge drawer for our fridge. So we have two sections um, for all our food that needs to be refrigerated. We also have our fruit hammock, which has turned out to be very useful. This is our stash of just snacks. Um, flavor Blasted Goldfish, Tortilla Chips, Trail Mix, Cliff Bars. These are our pantry. So um, we have our peanut butter, chicken stock, like sugar, flowers, baking things in here. And this one has a latch um, with rice, more baking things, some popcorn. We have our spice rack from our friend Kaylee and some homemade low-tech rifle paper company curtains, of course. Um, plenty of counter space here to cook. This is where, oh, <laughs> sometimes that happens. It's like an airplane. Where we keep our Tupperwares. We have these collapsible Tupperwares Wes's mom gave us that are handy. Um, my running water bottle, our coffee mugs, plates and bowls. And then here are our coffee supplies. This one has a latch because our French press broke on a bumpy road. So we got a new pour over. Um, this also has our glass containers like olive oil, balsamic. And these two benches um, are, this one is actually our toilet underneath here. So you take off the cushion, take off the top. Here is the toilet. And we usually sleep with the top off in case I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And then this is another bench um, with storage in here. So this is all of our kitchen towels, our rags, our extra jackets, our bath towels, and extra sheets. And we have this handy dandy pull out table so we can both sit and eat dinner. This is a door to the garage. So some, some things we need to access from in the van. This is our toolbox. Um, we've added a couple latches since we started. Our recycle, our reusable grocery bags, and 
our power cord if we need to use the blender. And then this cabinet is my hobby cabinet. Um, it has some books. Um, it has my collection of postcards in here. It has um, miscellaneous electronics and my pencil case and then all of our card games in here. So here in the back is what we call the garage. So we have our shower here, hot water heater. Uh, here's our 30 gallon tank to fill it. We can bring this hose out. Uh, we have a 25 or 50 foot hose, I think, and we just fill up at like gas stations or random places that we use an app for. Um, on this side, we have the power to the van. So we have about 280 amp hours of battery power and it all gets converted. Everything's charged through this guy which converts solar energy into battery power. On the top of our van, here is our three solar panels. Uh, the lowest in power we've got so far is about 50% battery. We've had one snowy day, so not too bad. Uh, but these things can charge the van fully in like 8 to 12 hours if there's full sun out, which hasn't been too much of a problem yet. So if you look outside right now, it's currently raining with not the brightest of skies. We are still drawing 17 watts. 18 watts of solar power right now. So these things work even if it's raining slightly and cloudy. So if you look right here, that's how much power we're drawing right now. Now watch what happens. It's like in the mid fifties. When I turn the light on, it goes to 80. When I turn the light back off, drops back down and so it's pretty cool. You can track your power usage, amount of time remaining based on current consumption. Uh, and so we always know how much power we have for the activities we want to do. Nice thing about living in a van, this is how we lock ourselves in at night. Just filled up with gas. That was our first time actually filling up uh, in seven days. So it did pretty good on the last tank. 80. $5 to fill up after a week. So if you see so far, we've driven 2,190 miles and that's pretty impressive. I think 17.8 miles per gallon, way better than I thought we could do. So a lot of people have been asking us, how much did our van cost? How much did it take to renovate it? And then on a month to month basis, how much are we spending while on the road? And so I'll start with the first thing, the van itself, drum roll, uh, we bought for $24,000. It's a 2018 Ram Pro Master that we bought with 80,000 miles on it. Very fortunate to have bought it when we did because the COVID pricing, I think this car would have been going for like $40,000 if we bought it even a couple months later uh, for the exact same mileages and everything. For our conversion, uh, the total cost of the conversion was $15,000. So that puts us at like $39,000, $40,000 total. Uh, some of the components of the van, the electrical system, so that includes the batteries, solar panels, uh, all the equipment to make our electrical system run. That was $3,600. We have two back windows and a side window. That was $1,000 total. Um, a couple other significant, the appliances, so that's our toilet, fridge, sink, uh, stove, lights. That was all $2,821. The two most expensive things in there, the fridge was $1,000 and the toilet was about $1,000. But it's really nice because when we're in remote spots and there's no toilet, uh, we have our compost toilet, which 28 days in, we haven't had to empty once at this point. And then the next most significant cost was all the wood for the van. So the walls behind me, the roof, the floor, that was all about $2,000. Um, and so yeah, all in $15,000. We did 100% of the conversions ourselves, And uh, I think that's 
pretty reasonable. So now getting into our budget for our first month. So today's the 29th and I've gone up and down my computer or all of our expenses and I have them all listed here in order of most money spent to least money spent. And so we have a couple of fixed costs. So we own a home, but we have tenants. So that kind of crosses out. Uh, we have health insurance, which we're paying 1100 per month for. Our first month of gas was $700, which a lot of that was to get out of Texas because it's such a big state. And then finally we have our entertainment expense. We're going to a concert on Memorial Day and doing the Boulder Boulder 10K. And then we have the miscellaneous expense, uh, things like souvenirs or parking fees that didn't really fit into one thing. So overall, that puts us for our, our first month um, out of pocket if we take our rent uh, and then minus everything we spent money on. The first month of van life came out to $2,981. And so that's a little over budget this month. Uh, we're hoping to be closer to you know, $2,400 out of pocket a month. But a lot of that was due to the cost of the health insurance we're on Cobra through my old company. But that kind of gives you an idea of how much we're spending per month, uh, how much we had to save up to do this travel. But most of our expenses, you can see gas, groceries, minus all of our fixed costs, that accounts for about 50% of our spend per month. Uh, and we're cooking out, are cooking like 80% of our meals in the van, which saves us a ton of money. Uh, and so while we don't have income right now, we feel like this is a pretty good uh, budget that we're trying to, to live off of. So even though we don't have an income, there's certain things you can do through credit cards to actually make free money or what I call discounts off your purchases. And so the one I'm gonna go over today is called the Chase Trifecta, but I call it the Chase Trifecta times two because if you have a spouse, then you can not only double the rewards you get, but also get the referral bonuses. So step by step, step one, get the Chase Freedom Flex Card. And what this does is after you spend $500 in the first three months, you get 20,000 points or $200 cash back. Step two is you refer your spouse for the same card, so the Chase Freedom Flex Card, you get $100 or 10,000 points it, as soon as they're approved. And then once they meet the $500 spend in the first three months, then they'll also get a 20,000 point or $200 credit to their account. So that total equals $500 cash back on a $1,000 spend. And where the trifecta comes in is step two, you repeat that all again and do it with the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. Same spending bonus, uh, same referral bonus, so that will change your $500 on a $1,000 spend to $1,000 back on $2,000 spend. And the third part of the trifecta is the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. So on this one, the spend is quite a bit higher, $4,000, but you'll get $1,000 cash back or 80,000 points. And then if you refer your spouse again, you double the points you get and you get a referral bonus, you'll get 15,000 points or $150. And once your spouse meets the minimum spend of $4,000, that's an additional 85,000 points. So I know that's a lot of numbers, but what that point puts you at is a total points if you do every step at 285,000 points. With the 1.25% cash back that, uh, or 25% bonus cash back that Chase Sapphire offers, this equals $3,560. All right, so that's it for our van overview, uh, budget overview, and a credit card hack. Going forward, I think I might sneak one of those in per month. I <laughs> love doing those. We hope you enjoyed this one and we'll get back to nature shortly.